The Buffalo, New York Police Department has announced they will begin to confiscate pistols from the families of deceased pistol license holders. New York law authorizes police departments to do this, and like all bad laws, New Yorkers are stuck with it until it's either rescinded through legislation or declared unconstitutional by a court. In review, the Fourth Amendment of the Bill of Rights states, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the person or things to be seized. Their probable cause in this case will be that somebody died, and they'll have a list to cross-reference, and they'll be combing the obituaries and cross-checking it against pistol permit registries. The seizure of these effects, in this case firearms, is certainly very unreasonable, considering the two, the, you know, just two amendments earlier. The Second Amendment is something that shall not be infringed. New Yorkers have a very long uphill battle with this. This and the so-called SAFE Act. Till they get this law nullified, this official confiscatory mindset may spread, and they're trying to spread it. All the while, widows and children who are dealing with the grief of tremendous personal loss, now they're going to have to deal with the police circling them like vultures and demanding property that is not their own. The police are going to demand property that belongs to the family, and they're going to try to take it. On the other coast, Washington State gun owners have had their rights bought via I-594. Now that they've won that one, they've got enough petition signatures to get a similar initiative on the ballot in Nevada. This whole scheme is written to entrap good people into breaking the law by criminalizing otherwise benign behavior, such as loaning a gun to a friend. In California, if you if you come down on domestic violence, they have a gun confiscation squad, which they check that against <laughs> their registry. And then they show up and they take every gun in the house constructive possession is not allowed in California. That means somebody besides you owns guns in the house. We're nowhere near done. The fight has only just begun. They have a lot of imagination. When we hit them and knock them back a few steps, they start circling. The status quo is not the place to stand now. Repeal of gun laws, elimination of so-called gun-free zones, advancement of constitutional carry. That has to be pushed at every opportunity. There is nothing benign about a gun registry. A gun registry is like the first movement in a symphony that's going to have crashing crescendos and dramatic lifting music. The registry is what precedes all of that. A nationwide registry, if one were imposed, That would be a call to me. First, I would defy it. I'd try to figure out how to fight this peacefully. If there is no means to do so, then... (laughs) Just something for you to take into consideration. They're coming. So, (laughs) it's not over. It's never going to be over. And that's, that's okay.